As Americans, when we hear the word colony, we think of the British Empire and our fight for independence. But in some parts of America, the word colony has a very different meaning. To be a colony is to really work on your psyche, you know, to, to make you feel less. It's really demoralizing to use that term, but call it what it is. We were a colony then, and we are a colony today. At the far edge of the Western Pacific, lies a string of tiny islands called the Marianas. The Mariana Islands are strategic colonies of the United States, and the people of these islands are fellow Americans. Being a US citizen means being part of the greatest nation, the most humanitarian nation in the world. For generations, these loyal US citizens have been fighting and dying under the stars and stripes. I want to give a shout out to my family. I miss you guys all. I wish I was there, but you know, when duty calls, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm happy that I'm serving up here in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Love you guys. Daddy, be home soon. After years of serving the army, liberating people, I said, how about my own people? With no vote for their commander-in-chief and no star on the flag they die for, the Marianas indigenous Chamorro and Carolinian people lack many of the rights most Americans take for granted. Of course, it's very clear in the United States Constitution that all men are created equal, and regardless of uh, your color or your belief or what have you. did America end up in the Marianas? And if the people of the Marianas are fellow Americans, what is it like for them to be colonial subjects of the greatest democracy on Earth? Six thousand miles from the coast of California, the Marianas Archipelago stretches 450 miles. It's made up of the U.S. territory of Guam and the U.S. Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. Anybody who studied even the least amount of military history knows how valuable these islands are. Even if they don't have gold and silver, they've got land, and it's land close to Southeast Asia. Guam is the largest of the Mariana Islands, and today it's poised to become one of the largest U.S. military bases in the world. The Northern Marianas include the inhabited islands of Rota, Tinian, and Saipan. Out of the grime and blood of Saipan emerges America's greatest single victory in the Pacific, control of the Marianas. The United States invaded the Marianas in World War II, first capturing the northern island of Saipan. Saipan had been a prosperous Japanese sugar colony before the war, but today, people mostly remember it as one of the bloodiest battle sites in the Pacific. The battle for the Marianas raged across Saipan, with brutal house-to-house -house combat that forced the local Chamorro and Carolinian people to hide in caves for days on end, with no food or water. <laughs> Here we are, 60 years later, to dedicate this memorial in honor of the more than 900 of our own people who have died. Herman Azuzu Torres, Herman R. Torres, Joaquin Torres, Antonio my sister was two years old when she died during the war. This one.
looking at the names of your relatives and other families, uh, you get a very, very emotional feeling about about it. Especially, it's about it's about a war, about people that were victimized, not knowing what the war was all about. But you know, it's the symbol of closure, I guess.